What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube Pokemon channel all about collecting, playing, trading, and just about everything else. Today I'm going to be talking about how to identify a fake Pokemon card. Alright, so here I have some jumbo cards, some regular cards, and I'm going to show you the difference between real and fake ones. So now let's go over um, fake cards, phonies, uh, proxies, whatever you want to call them. Um, some people make their own cards and they're easy to tell, but the actual uh, manufacturers that, you know, they're in the business of making fake Pokemon cards because Pokemon is, you know, a, I believe a billion dollar industry. I mean, they make a ton of money. But, so a good way to tell if a card is fake because you don't want to buy a fake card, you know. Um, but let me just show you what the differences are. Now the first thing is, I've got a few here. I've got, okay, so I've got a real card, another real card, this is our Japanese one, um, and then we have a fake one. So the easiest way to tell is by looking at the backs. Easiest way to tell. Now, with, oh wow, I messed up, that's not right. This is, these are all real cards. This, Zygarde, is a fake card. Okay, now let's move this around. Now what you'll notice is that this real one, and you can compare them. So buy, you know, when you're getting into it, get a card from say, Walmart or Target, um, you know, a reputable retailer that is gonna be selling real cards. Um, and maybe this isn't a good example because it's in the plastic, but you'll tell with a real card. This is my uh, official Pokemon League gym badge card. Um, it's got a dark blue border with a light blue border on the Pokemon. Now this fake card has a light blue border, even lighter than the border of the Pokemon. and you can just see that the colors are just off. They're not right. Um, just easiest way to tell is just look at the back. You can also can, can tell the condition of the card because the backs aren't glossy. I mean, they are glossy, but you'll be able to see scratches. If the edges are dinged up, you can see this one has a bad corner. Um, just another good way to tell condition of the card is look at the back. but. You'll see the colors are off. A real Pokemon card, the actual print is kind of, has an orangish, orangish tint, and the fake card is more yellow. Even the red on the Pokeball is different. Um, but to look at them side by side is the best way. But also if it has a really light colored border, obvious sign that it's fake. Um, then moving on to the front. Now all real Pokemon cards have a border. Even on these guys you'll see, now this one is a world reprint of Hoopa which has a silver border and the Japanese one has this kind of goldish border but some of these fake ones I have um, they just don't have a border at all. So there's like obvious things like that. Also this Zygarde He's a fighting type, not psychic. I mean, what is that? They obviously messed up. So there's some stuff you can tell too that, you know, there's just obvious mistakes. I mean, sometimes you'll see, you know, hit points of like 500 or just something doesn't look right, you know? But this one, he's not a psychic type, but all his moves are fighting types. Um. Also, it's slightly bigger, 
so it doesn't fit into the sleeve as well. I don't know if you can tell that. I matched up the edges and you got a little extra here and here. But it's just not the right size. Also, you can tell by folding the card. You don't want to fold it because you don't want to damage your card. But they just have a different feel to them. You know, some might be real thin, some might be really thick. But those are your obvious ways to tell if a card is real. Now with these guys, let me just show you these. This is the World Championship. They always have a different graphic. These are just cards that they print for the winners of the World Championship. And you see this one is from 2016. And then out of all the countries in the world, whether it's Germany, Mexico, whatever, they're all going to have this back unless it is a world championship card. But in Japan, where the cards are from, you'll see this graphic. This is the only place that they make this graphic on the back is in Japan. Okay, so just something to know. Um, I don't know. What else can I show you guys right now? You know, thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.